Hey guys, uh, Dulos here. Timberwolf and I just got back from the local gun show and we picked up a few items. Not the biggest score today, but I think we got some quality little items. So, to start off, I got a little wire brass brush just to do help with a little cleaning. I'm sure all of you have seen this, but I think sometimes it's nice just to be able to go out and get some cleaning supplies that you need. Um, I've been using the end of a, a, a bore cleaner, so I think a brush would be a little help. Um, next item up, I got a Glock mag on my state 10 round limit. Um, this is 40 cal. Um, this is actually for the larger Glocks. If you notice, this is a standard Glock 23 10 round magazine, and this is the one I bought today. Um, I got it for $35. Um, I think online you get magazines for $30, but then they're shipping, so I figured, hey, it's there. It's just a backup magazine, something I can use at the range or at the worst stuff in my bag. So it doesn't really matter that it's bigger and um, just for that second kind of cool to quote nothing fancy. I think it looks pretty boss sticking out of the bottom of the pistol there. The last item up was this nice little gun case that I picked up for all of eight dollars. Um, my wife had been carrying her uh, P250 in the case for our Smith & Wesson revolver and it was just too small. It's hard to get the zipper out and it just it didn't really work. So it was good to, to keep it protected in her purse, but if it was ever an emergency, she was never gonna get it out. She's still shopping around for holsters, um, but being pregnant, um, she's not really sure what she's gonna do right now. So in the time being, I figured this nice little case would work. She could stick the gun in. Um, I guess she could do it any way you wanted, but this way, that way she knows the bore is always facing on the narrow end. Have it in her purse if she needs to. Unzip it, sitting in her purse and she can just reach in and grab it. Now this was made, uh, if you guys are interested, you know, this was, he had many sizes, this is number three. Okay, he had uh, many sizes available, it was very nice, instead of it didn't fit, you could bring it back to the next show and he'd exchange it, but um, this is size three. I think it was a two, three, four, five, maybe even bigger than that. But check out uniquecases.com. Unique cases made uh, in Pennsylvania and West Virginia, which is very nice. So it's in our neck of the woods. But on the outside, it's very soft. Kind of looks like carpet or a couch, maybe a couch, but it's very soft. Um, he had different colors available. The outside um, is a you know it's a lightweight nylon. It's nothing too heavy, but it's definitely quality made standard zipper, little ring on here, uh, probably take the size off, um, but it's, again it's very soft inside, this is never going to mar the finish, in fact I wish my couches were this soft, but very nice, so wife doesn't have it because we're going out of state tonight, so I'm making a video with it, so how do you like that? So yeah, just some quick finds we got at the local gun show, I encourage you to check out the gun show, support your local FFL dealer, and do what you can to support freedom. Hi everybody, uh, this is Timberwolf. Uh, Dulos and I went out to the local gun show just this afternoon. Uh, got a few interesting deals. First thing I'm going to start with is my bag. I got a couple more magazines for the uh, Sig Sauer P226 pistol. Uh, they're both, if you can see on the markings, they're both stamped Sig Sauer. Uh, they're both 40 and 357 SIG. I usually like to shoot 40, but that's mainly because I have a whole bunch of them. Uh, special note, if you notice the price tag, he, the guy was asking $35 a piece. Um, I was getting two, I actually asked him, I offered him 60 for both, and he we said yes. So another giant step forward for, uh, giant advantage for gun shows is you can haggle. Uh, I checked online recently, on the Sig Sauer website itself, each of these mags would be about $46 a piece. Uh, even on big box kind of sites, um, most of them were around $40. So he was already pricing them as a steal and I got them for even better. I got them for $30 a piece. So there's that. Uh, I also got sorry, I also got a BDU t-shirt. Well, shirt. A full size uniform style shirt. Um, this one's looks like it's barely even been worn ever. 
it's kind of hard to see, but just the feel of it, it still it still feels pressed. I mean, it doesn't feel like anyone's even used, wear, worn it. Five dollars. Seriously, five dollars. And perhaps the best thing I got at the gun show, Crunch Bar, one dollar. <laughs> so, totally gonna eat that later. All right, this was Timberwolf. Um, couple good items. I really like those pistol mags and the BDU shirt. Good morning. This ain't product placement. The, the crunch part, part of the label visible. How about that? How's yeah, that that's it. Yeah, that's it.